In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. Amen. Sisters and brothers, as we come to celebrate this Eucharist on this 28th Sunday in ordinary time, and on this Thanksgiving weekend, our readings warn us that our wealth, our money, can become hindrance to our faith in God. And therefore we are called to be careful, that we are called to be always faithful to our Lord Jesus Christ. And so we pray for that grace. And we also take a moment at the beginning of this Eucharist to pray for God's mercy and forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of God and Son of Mary. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the bread of life who feeds us with your own body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, earth, earth peace to people of good will. We, we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you, you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, our Holy King, O God, our mighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, the Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, you take away the sins of the world, as you are prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. May your grace, O Lord, we pray, at all times go before us and follow after, and make us always determined to carry out good works through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. I pray and understanding is given me. I called on God, and the spirit of wisdom came to me. I preferred her to scepters and thrones, and I accounted wealth as nothing in comparison with her. Neither did I liken her to any priceless gem, because all gold is but a little sand in her sight, and silver will be accounted as clay before her. I loved her more than health and beauty, and I chose to have her rather than light, because her radiance never ceases. All good things came to me along with her, and in her hands uncounted wealth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response will start. Our response is, fill us with your love, O Lord, that we may rejoice and be glad. Fill us, fill us with, with your love, love, O Lord, that we may rejoice and be glad. Teach us to count our days, that we may gain a wise heart. 
Third, O Lord, how long? Have compassion on your servants. Bless with your love, O Lord, that we may rejoice and be glad. Satisfy us in the morning with your steadfast love, so that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. Make us glad as many days as you have afflicted us, and as many years as we have seen evil. Bless with your love, O Lord, that we may rejoice and be glad. Let your work be manifest to your servants, and your glorious power to their children. Let the favor of the Lord our God be upon us, and prosper for us the work of our hands. Bless with your love, O Lord, that we may rejoice and be glad. reading from the letter to the Hebrews. The Word of God is living and active, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing until it divides soul and spirit, joints from marrow. It is able to judge thoughts and intentions of the heart. And before God, no creature is hidden but all are naked and laid bare to the eye of the one to whom we must render an account. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Children, 
how hard it is to enter the kingdom of God. It is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for someone who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. They were greatly astounded and said to one another, Then who can be saved? Jesus looked at them and said, For humans it is impossible, but not for God. For God, all things are possible. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to the Lord Jesus Christ. The local church was badly in need of repair. So the pastor called a special meeting to raise funds. At the assembly, the pastor explained the need for an emergency fund for plastering the roof and supporting pillars and for carrying out other items of repair. He invited the congregation to pledge contribution. After a brief pause, Mr. Murphy, the richest man in the parish, volunteered to give $50. Just as he sat down, a hunk of plaster fell from the ceiling on his head. He jumped up looked terribly startled and said, I meant to say $500. The congregation stood silent and stunned. Then a voice cried out from the back, O oh Lord, hit him again. Brothers and sisters, we all have a complicated relationship with our possessions and money. Today's gospel is very interesting. The man who comes up to Jesus is clearly a, a very good person. The young man standing before Jesus had a great record. He had kept all of the commandments and teachings of the traditions from his youth. And yet, he sensed that there was something more. There was something lacking. And there was something missing in his life to inherit eternal life. He asked Jesus what he had to do to inherit eternal life. Jesus looked on him with love, not disapproval, not hatred, and not even a feeling of anger, because this rich man was basically a good-hearted man. Then, what did he lack? He did all things well, but lacked the wisdom. To understand that their key to eternal life was a detachment from the wealth. Jesus commanded that the man sell all, give to the poor, and come and be his disciple. Martin Luther says that the man who has given his heart to God will also give God his wealth. God does not ask us to give up our riches, but He does ask us to use them wisely in His service. Jesus highlights the fact that a truly rich person is one who possesses true wisdom and not just material wealth alone. It also reminds us of how material wealth would be a great obstacle to obtaining true wisdom. 
Our first reading today personalizes wisdom. Wisdom is God Himself. All good things come from and must return to Him. Nothing can be compared with wisdom. Nothing has value without wisdom. Whoever possesses wisdom has everything. Brothers and sisters, there are important lessons to learn from today's readings. At times, we have faithfully followed the Ten Commandments. At times, we have been pious men and women who did not miss any traditions of the Christian religion. At times, we had hundred dollars to give to others and gave at ten dollars to the needy. And at times, it seems to us that we had done all things well, like the young rich man in the gospel. But these are not enough. The gospel is only interested in sharing, caring, and loving to inherit the eternal life. For this, what we need is not wealth alone, but the spirit of wisdom. It is wisdom which brings us a deep insight into sharing, caring, and loving, and using our God-given wealth with others in need. This is our key to happiness and security. Amen. Let us now confess our faith in God. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son of God, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered the Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Sisters and brothers, now with confidence, let us go to our Heavenly Father offering our prayers and responding with faith. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For each of us in prayer today, that we might live the commandments, strive for the treasure of heaven, and deeply trust that for God all things are possible. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In thanksgiving for the gift of creation, the beauty of the earth, and the many gifts that God gives to us. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. In thanksgiving for our family and friends, and for all the special people who brighten our lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are ill, especially Jacob Roca and Teresa Habran, that they might experience God's caring and healing touch. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially Faye Chiva, Giovanna Dicenzo, and Nancy Rio, and for all grieving the loss of a loved one, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for our personal prayer intentions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty and ever-loving God, hear these prayers. 
and fill our hearts with gratitude for all your blessings. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual food. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for our God and holy church. Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings, that through these acts of devotedness we may pass over to the glory of heaven, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift since our praises add nothing to your greatness but profit us for salvation through christ and so in company with the choirs of the angels we praise you and with joy we proclaim holy holy holy, holy lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, the Son in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray, 
that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Gerard, our Bishop, and all the clergy and the people you have gathered. Remember also all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face, and have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Apostles, with Saint Kevin, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we now dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are the Lord's now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you set your apostles Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer to one another the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should be under under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us sharers of his divine nature who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. And on uh, behalf of Father uh, Sunil and uh, the entire parish uh, team here, I wish you all and your families a very happy Thanksgiving. Thank <laughs> you.